Hi, I'm James. I'm Matt. And we're getting a civil partnership in August this year. We met um, about a year and a half ago um, on Tinder. I wasn't sure if it was a date or not uh, when we first met, or whether it was kind of a friendly um, talking to James about um, London and things to do and things to see. Uh, so yeah, I'm originally from Sydney, Australia, and yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if it was a date, to be honest. I didn't know many people when I first got to London. Uh, so I was kind of just looking for friends, and, and you took me by surprise. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we met up, we had burgers and, and milkshakes, dinner, yeah. uh, and then we were walking to the station, and I don't know, I was kind of waiting for you to kiss me. And I had already received a text from you by the time I had gotten home. Asking to <laughs> within, a, within an hour, a within day. an hour, <laughs> within an hour, possibly, All yes. Right, yeah. First kiss! On the second day. It was on the second day, yeah. yeah first kiss probably on the second whilst day. RuPaul was uh, eliminating someone. No, 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 no it wasn't. <laughs> so we, uh, we'd been to dinner and we were talking about the fact that I don't really like um, oh, uh, coconut great. flavored yeah. chocolate and bounty yeah. bars, and James really does. So he bought me one from just a like, little shop nearby. And then, uh, yeah, we shared a chocolate bar, and then I think on the crossing before I was supposed to go off. That was when we first kissed. <laughs> We've been together about a year and a half. I think we met in February or March last year. Yeah. Uh, we were kind of dating for a couple of months before we made it official. So uh, we went away for Valentine's Day this year. Um, we've got this beautiful uh, sort of three three story converted barn, I suppose, um, which is super romantic. And I've been thinking for a while. Um, I, you know, I want to spend the rest of my life with James and yeah and I think we were just like chilling on the couch and you know in our own space we don't live together at the moment we're about to about to find somewhere um, and kind of playing playing house it just sort of felt very very real and then that is yeah when I kind of turned to James and said I want to marry you please tell me you want to marry me as well <laughs> and thankfully he does and did so my mum and dad are coming to visit from Australia uh, in August this year and we thought what better time to let them witness our love for each other and us, us pledge that to each other so I think the idea of getting married and, and proposing to James I think over the Christmas period I started to think about it a little bit James is the first person that I've introduced to my grandma who I only came out to a year or so ago very quickly met all of my mum's friends and, and friends of the family, at, actually at my mum's 58th <laughs> birthday. And then particularly after Christmas when I met James's brother um, and we hung out and you know we'd Skyped a bit with James's family, um, we, you know, we began to kind of feel like a family already. Mm. So I think in my head I was sort of like, oh, I'm gonna marry this, I'm gonna marry this guy. <laughs> that was it. I think we're quite sickening in the sense that like you went away for a total of like a week or something. a bit less than a week yeah. and we were just constantly texting like we couldn't like not spend every waking hour messaging each other or like wanting to know what the other one was up to and I, I don't know I guess that's when I just knew that I, I wanted to be I couldn't live without you mate. it's cheesy but I, I, I can't <laughs> and, and I want to I want to wake up next to you every morning and um, I don't want you to go away for another seven days. <laughs> Please. <laughs> so we decided to um, live stream our civil partnership and let cameras kind of, uh, I guess, follow around different elements of, of the process. Um, mainly, mainly for two reasons. So for me, it was really important that um, the, the the process of getting a civil partnership um, was. Um, you know, as inclusive as possible. So we're only going to be looking to use LGBTQ um, or, or or inclusive sort of allies as, as suppliers. So our, our dress code is queer AF mm. for the party. Yep. Um, we're not asking people necessarily to wear formal wear for the ceremony. Some of um, your friends said that they were going to wear, like one of your male friends said he wanted to wear a wedding dress. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And another of your friends is going to wear a pink short suit. Another reason why we're live streaming it is because I've got tons of friends and family back home in Australia um, who for various reasons can't make it uh, so my sister for example just bought a house uh, and she's trying for a baby so she can't fly over um, she said that she was going to hold a bit of a viewing party at her house uh, watching it uh, live streamed on Gaystar News 
So we've chosen to have a civil partnership um, rather than a marriage um, for well reasons closer to your heart than mine. Yeah, so uh, same-sex marriage is not legal in Australia uh, and as it stands currently uh, there is no one federal law uh, for civil partnerships. Uh, they're recognised state by state. When same-sex marriage is legal in Australia, we'll convert it into a marriage. Uh, kind of what Kylie Minogue <laughs> refused to do when she, before she broke up with her last boyfriend. Um, as, as a bit of a, a political stance, I guess. Yeah, if it's good enough for Kylie, then I think it's, it's definitely good <laughs> enough for us to do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs>